Hi, it's Mark with The Dirt Locker. And today we've got a nice project here in Southern California. We're gonna install 600 senior dirt lockers. And we're really excited about this because one, this owner has a, a hillside that really is inhospitable to plants and is maybe even a little bit of a problem in that it you know, erodes and, and you know, sheds some water into places where it's not really very welcome. So today we're gonna put these 600 dirt lockers up here and we're gonna transform this into a garden that's gonna contain fruit trees, vegetables, herbs, pollinating flowers. It's gonna be transformative to this hillside. Here I am at the top of this project. So we're not going all the way to the top. We're gonna to have some other plants up here, uh, some larger plants, but we're also gonna have a trail here this is the area we're concerned about here today. And you can see our strings have our area outlined and marked off. And now we're just taking a look to make sure that the area is smooth. We don't have any big divots that we have to worry about. Because even though we did do some work here and we got it smooth, you know, smooth enough, the dirt lockers can accommodate a lot of variation, so it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't need to be bobcatted or, or anything like that. It, it can have some, uh, you know, variation to the surface. As long as you don't have any big dips and, and things like that, uh, this, is, this is a great uh, representation of maybe how the hillside should look. As you can see, the, the Garden Love project is going as anticipated. They're assembling this, the, her, uh, Diana, her husband, uh, daughter, they're putting this together, getting ready to pull this thing up the hill. So they're doing one row at a time, setting it in place. Once that's all assembled, we're gonna pull it up there, put it on those J-hooks and put it in place and, and then backfill it with some soil. Once they assembled around 150 dirt lockers into 12 rows, we moved them to the base of the hillside. Even though there would eventually be over 24 rows, we figured 12 rows would be about as much as we could lift up the hill with only seven people. Notice we already had J-hooks measured and positioned at the top of the hill to help us align the dirt lockers and place them in the correct position. Once the dirt lockers were set in place and aligned, all we had to do was stake down each dirt locker in the top row. With the dirt lockers aligned, and staked into position, we were able to start adding the rest of the rows. Notice we are connecting the dirt lockers on the hillside. Since it's just as easy to do it on the hillside as it is on the ground, you just need to pay attention to your footing. With only myself, Diane, her husband, and one of their friends, we were able to install 450 more dirt lockers within a two hour period, creating a total of 28 rows and 600 dirt lockers. The complete assembly and installation of the Dirt Locker Network took us about four and a half hours. It is day two of the Garden Love Dirt Locker install. All 600 Dirt Lockers have been installed, secured, and are ready to be filled with soil. In order to save money on this project, Diane and her husband have called upon their family and friends to help them do the fill. They created a bucket brigade to get the soil from the bottom of the hill to the top row of the dirt lockers. They even had their nieces and nephews helping with the empty buckets. What I love about this project is that up until now, Diane has done everything herself. She has not used any expensive contractors or expensive equipment. One thing I love about gardening is how it can bring families together. Get them outdoors, in the fresh air, give everyone a little healthy exercise and create some great family memories. Hi, it's Mark, back here at the Garden Love Project. We're getting ready to finish this project. And as you can see, we have filled up the dirt lockers with uh, some good planting soil. So it, it took a lot of work. There was a lot of family out here moving buckets, wheelbarrows, filling these things up. And I will say that, you know, filling 600 dirt lockers is, is something to be proud of. It's, it's an accomplishment. But we got through that, and now, as you can see, I'm able to walk across these very easily. Diana is out here working, as am I, easily able to walk across this hillside, when before you saw 
me slipping up and down the hillside or others slipping and this is a no-brainer. So now we've got them filled with soil <coughs> and we're going to start to work on the irrigation system. And in this case, we've decided to go with a drip irrigation system. <clears throat> the reason why we've decided on drip irrigation is because we know that we're not going to use all of the cells. Um, some of those cells are going to be dedicated for walking. Some of them are also going to be dedicated to be just open space. But then on the cells where we want plants, we want to target the, the irrigation. So that's why drip irrigation is best in this case. And as you can see, we have brought the irrigation line through the uh, holes that are already in the dirt locker. So there's no modification need, no, nothing special here. Just feed the hose through. And now from this hose, we're gonna put a smaller stringer hose with drip emitters to the specific cells that we want to water. So now we're gonna get into the detail of putting in place the emitters for a drip irrigation system. Let's look at the parts we are going to need. The quarter inch hose that distributes water from the main irrigation lines. This hose can be cut to any length with a pair of scissors. The connector that joins the quarter inch hose to the main line. The emitters that attach to the end of the quarter inch hose. The six inch stakes to hold the emitters in place. We use this tool to punch holes into the main irrigation lines. We begin by punching a hole into the main line with our punch tool. We put the connector into the hole we just punched. Once the connector is seated, we attach the quarter inch hose onto the connector. Attach the emitter to the quarter inch hose. These emitters are available in various flow rates and you can choose the right type of emitters for your garden and climate. The six inch stake is attached to the quarter inch hose and placed near the desired plant. A significant advantage of the dirt locker system is the ability to have isolated planting zones with optimized watering, fertilizing, and soil for each plant's individual needs.